All right. Well, friends, we're uh, attempting to kind of move my body around a bit here. Um, yeah. To get this building a little. This is one of the. This is this one's this one's been a little frustrating. This one, I'll be honest, it has been. It, it, I can't hide it. Excuse me. It's been a little tougher this one. Um, usually, it'll come in and and uh, it'll last a while, not long, uh, and it kind of fizzles away. Well, <clears throat> not the case here on this one. So. Just a slow rebound, friends. Just more healing is how I see it. More healing. Um, so, friends, the bullet, the wood bullet. We're, we're, this is exciting, as you all know, for me. So, I'm sending off a handle to Liam for his handle uh, program for the bullet. It's sold with one handle. So if you want to buy the bullet, it's your axe. You can put any size of handle you want on it. I'm selling this handle and this axe as a unit together. They're not, we're not selling heads. The heads aren't being sold. This axe will come to you probably just under 32 inches. About a 32, that's my, my plan. Um, the, the axe is designed to have power in the swing, which is out at the end of the swing. The longer the handle, the more this moves down here. See? You understand what I mean? So, so friends, this is kind of the brainchild of Buck and Billy Ray. That, that's what this is. Sure, longer handles do give leverage. Yes, they do. Absolutely, they do. But that's not for everybody. You see what I'm saying? So there's not going to be options of handle length. The handle length is going to be a 31 and a half. It, it'll half out like this right here. There, there it is. I designed the handle. And there it is. That's probably the handle that's going to Liam right there. Just giving some fine tunings. Um, we're creeping in slower to, to this thing, friends. This handle will also be for sale. As a, as a replacement handle or any handle you want to put your axes on. Bucken's going to have a handle for sale. I've talked about this for, since Bunyan, even before. Uh, so, yeah, and we're actually waiting for... Where are they? We're waiting for UPS right now, friends. To, to uh, Nick's Pixel sent me the final remainings of the handles that, that Eli was kind enough to get to us, to Bunyan. So, gosh, I can't wait to get cut again, friends. Oh, this is not easy, but it is what it is. I've been here before, and it'll come. It'll come. So I'm just kind of being trying to be busy, friends, to be honest. I am. So... There's the axe. That, that is what the axe, that's it. That is the complete wood bullet right there. And it measures out, it measures out from tip to stern, 31 and a half, 31 and a half inches. We all know, you know what I did friends? I talked to a bunch of people. I said, hey, what's your favorite handle? size for like chopping and splitting and throwing an axe around what what is that i'm talking to some six foot guys regular size human being anywhere from five eight to six two and do you know what the consensus was friends 30 inches 30 to 32 inches it was i'm just telling you yes some people said 36 of course they did i'm not making a 36 inch uh handled axe that's not what i'm doing if I do that, that'll probably be the double bit, the gorilla. That's that that may might be the way to go there. But it probably even be a well. We'll see. 
We'll see. But the wood bullet is coming as a 31 and a half inch ax. There it is. So if you're used to swinging a 32 or a 33, this is gonna fall right into your, into your world. Um, I would probably use well, you guys know how I split wood. You you guys know how I I do my my wood splitting. But but there's the axe. That that's what she looks like on one of my handles. And friends, these were th this was the program. This was designed to do this. This is a, a this is it from up here. So there it is. And I'm actually freaking tickled. Freaking tickled. So Today, um, I, I've just gotten out to the bunker again. I got the stove going. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, keep things kind of moving and, uh, and keep my spirit healthy because without doing stuff, I get goofy. So just waiting for, for UPS. That's all we're doing is we're, we're just waiting for the UPS as a system. Which means we might be able to do a little little slow jazz, little, 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 you know what I mean? You know, do anything. I just don't want to miss the UPS guy, friends. If I'm in here, sometimes I don't hear them. You see? So let's have a closer Ganderto at this at this handle here. This is the one going to Liam. He wanted it sent uh, oversized a little bit so that he can kind of do his thing. Well, this this was already made this this handle was already made so uh i had to i had to work this handle quite a bit to get it hafted so there, there's enough girth liam there is there's enough girth um so so what liam does friends is he'll take this he'll go over it he'll he'll you know match it to his eye because in in production axes you want your eye to be as close, you know, to the handle coming off that, right? So you can, it's, it's, a, it's a system. You don't want to start having to play around. So he's going to have to fool with this a little bit. Liam, I hope this is going to work. I hope it's not, you know what I mean, buddy? I hope it's not too narrow for you, is what I'm saying. I, I don't think it will be, buddy. If, if anything, Liam, it might be a little bit right here. But that's not gonna matter once once we wedge out, buddy, right? So I, I'm just, I'll see when you send that next ax. I'll see. I think we're good, buddy. I do, I think we're good. I mean, I could. 
No, I think we're going to be good. So I'm going to send this to you, Liam. I just wanted to kind of go over. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's tricks of the trade you guys can do with the. I'm just going over some of the spots as best I can. So this isn't easy for me, friends. <laughs> it's not. I'm not I'm not good at this. I've always said it. I I I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at being injured. It's amazing. You just put your eye on something, friends, right? You can make it as, as best you can. Liam, I hope this works for you, buddy. If not, we'll uh, we'll 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 do what do what is needed. It's a nice straight handle. I do know that. See, I'm just trying to work my hand, my arm, friends, a little bit. You know, just just get it moving. You know, a lot of people, they're not used to a big palm swell like this, okay? Well, then you, you can change it. You can do whatever you like with it. You can you can carve it down. You can do whatever. But friends, uh, I'm telling you, uh, the, this this is just my offering to the world, friends. That That's all this is. It's just my offering, okay? Mine and Liam's offering. He may not even like the handle. Well, it doesn't matter. It's Buck and Billy Ray's wood bullet. That's what this is. You see this handle here? Th th this is what I believe is a, a very nice rendition of a good axe handle. It's just my opinion. That's all. Everybody has their opinions. And this is mine. This is my offering. And I, I like this handle. It's not too curvy. It's just, it's glorious actually. Final stages. This this handle's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I, I like it. I like the big bomb swells. I just do. I mean, look at the freaking... Have you seen the two Atai handles, friends? You see the size of these? This is one of the finest axes you'll find in the world. And there's this big. It's big, friends. This is a big palm swell, okay? I've always enjoyed a big palm swell. I remember when Whiskey River came out with one, it was it was good size, and then that changed, and everything changes, and the C30's lovely. It is, the C30's lovely, but again, uh, and Colby Owen, like Colby Owen's uh, axe handle, palm swell, it's lovely. Here's Liam Hoffman's. This is Hoffman's handle right here. It's a great axe. Great axe handle. Nice little palm swell. It is. It's lovely. Here's mine. Okay. It, that's, you know, I, I took a lot of inspiration from Jonesy. My buddy Jonesy. Um, I ended up doing quite a bit of changing in here and in here with Jonesy's and made it my own. That's, that's, that's where that came from. So, anyway, I got Liam s s s sitting here. This is the one I think that's going to go over to him. Uh, like, oh, man, I, I, I really like this. I did a lot of time into this handle. I love it. So, anyway, we're going to go through these. Let's get back to the video. I'll show it to you right now. The two tight. Well, here, I've got one from East Coast Lumberjack. Right here. There it is right there. East Coast Lumberjack, right there. You know who he is, right? He makes wonderful handles. Well, look at it. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's all personal preference. Again, this is Buck and Billy Ray's offering. I like a little scoop in here because I do a lot of wood splitting. 
Uh, if you actually look at, have I got one of them Fiskers here? Or did I lend it out? I think I lent it out to Bob out in Yellow Point, friends. You know what the Fiskers has got? It's got that freaking hook. Fiskers actually built in a freaking. They're they're smart. They they built a good axe. So this has kind of got that action going on. Okay, so it's just my idea of what a what a nice split axe handle should be. So I, I'm quite excited. I'm quite excited. Okay. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Like I say, I, I'm just I'm just trying to keep moving and, and keep the spirits up. I haven't had a lot of content out because I don't believe in coming and just having nothing for you guys. So um, that's what's going down. I'm actually going to go for a walk and get the, get the, get the sucker moving, you know, get it swinging around in the joint and, uh, hopefully we'll be cutting soon and swinging an ax. That's the part I'm really missing. Okay. What, what's here? What's, oh, oh, I see. Oh, he's backed up. Oh, it's our, it's our main man. Here we are again. Here we are again. Now, this one's a little heavier, isn't it? Yes, and I think this one you really have to pay for. No, I don't doubt that. Uh, we got lucky last time, but let me just put this. All right. So, this is the remainder of the axes, friends, that were put together by Eli. This is... Again, my little brainchild with my, this is the, the axe handle I made. Yeah, we can. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at this. The, the, these, are, these are nice. They, they just are. I might send Liam one or two of these actually, because these are kind of bigger here, which might help Liam. Yeah, I'm going to go through these. Okay, friends. So these are going to be for sale. We're going to, we're going to sell these our, as our very first batch that were kind of just put together um, for Bunyan. These have been to Bunyan and now we're back. It's kind of special. All right. Thanks for watching, friends. Work hard. Be honest. And I'll catch you on the next video. Be kind, friends.